Hey there, you're looking kind of cute. Please consider subscribing and check out our Patreon for more. Enjoy the video. The soft glow of Christmas lights filtered through the curtains, casting a warm haze across the bedroom. Outside, a blanket of fresh snow muffled the world, creating an ethereal stillness. A figure stirred beneath the covers, eyes fluttering open to greet the dawn of Christmas morning. For a moment, everything felt ordinary. The same four walls, the same dresser with its collection of knickknacks, the same calendar marking off the days until this very morning. But as consciousness fully took hold, an electric thrill of anticipation coursed through veins still heavy with sleep. Today was different. Today was the day that had been circled in red, wished for upon countless stars, and dreamed about in the quiet hours of the night when truth speaks loudest. Today was the day Hugh had been waiting for, perhaps his entire life. Sitting up, the blankets fell away to reveal a lean frame clad in flannel pajamas. Hugh's heart quickened as his gaze fell upon a collection of wrapped packages at the foot of the bed. They hadn't been there when he'd gone to sleep. Yet here they were, a rainbow of shimmering paper and satin bows. Hands trembling slightly, Hugh reached for the first gift. The paper crinkled beneath his fingers as he carefully peeled back the wrapping. Inside lay a silky blouse in a deep burgundy, its fabric catching the light and seeming to glow from within. Hugh's breath caught in his throat as he ran his fingers over the material, marveling at its softness. One by one, the presents revealed their treasures. A floral skirt with delicate pleats, a pair of black kitten heels that gleamed like polished onyx, lacy undergarments that brought a flush to Hugh's cheeks. Each item was more perfect than the last, chosen with exquisite care and consideration. The final box held an assortment of makeup eyeshadow palettes in shimmering neutrals and bold jewel tones, Lipsticks ranging from subtle nudes to daring reds, blush that promised to bring a rosy glow to cheeks. Nestled among the cosmetics was a handwritten note on crisp white paper. Dearest Holly, may these gifts help you become who you've always known yourself to be. Merry Christmas, darling, with love, Miss Claus. Hugh, no, Holly, felt tears prick at the corners of her eyes. She'd never shared this deepest desire with anyone, yet somehow someone knew. Someone understood. Someone cared enough to make this Christmas miracle happen. Setting aside the gifts for a moment, Holly padded to the bathroom. The tiles were cool beneath her feet as she stepped into the shower, letting the warm water cascade over her body. With careful, deliberate motions, she lathered her skin and began to shave. Each stroke of the razor revealed smooth skin beneath, transforming her bit by bit. As steam filled the bathroom, Holly's mind wandered to the journey ahead. The physical changes were just the beginning. There would be challenges, misunderstandings, perhaps even rejection. But for now, in this moment, there was only the joy of becoming. Wrapping herself in a fluffy towel, Holly wiped the fog from the mirror and studied her reflection. The face that looked back was familiar yet new, like seeing an old friend after many years apart. She took a deep breath, savoring the anticipation of what was to come. Back in the bedroom, Holly laid out her gifts on the bed. She slipped on the lacy undergarments, reveling in the sensation of the delicate fabric against her freshly smooth skin. The burgundy blouse came next, its silky material flowing over her torso like water. She stepped into the floral skirt, zipping it up and marveling at how it hugged her curves. Seated at the vanity, Holly opened the makeup kit with reverence. She'd practiced in secret before, watching countless tutorials online, but this felt different. This was real. This was her moment. With a steady hand, she applied foundation, blending it carefully to create a flawless canvas. A touch of blush brought life to her cheeks. She lined her eyes with a careful hand, enhancing their shape and making them seem larger, more luminous. Eyeshadow in shades of gold and bronze made her eyes sparkle. Finally, she selected a deep red lipstick, applying it with precision. As she worked, Holly felt a sense of calm settle over her. 
Each brushstroke, each careful application, was an act of self-creation. She was painting herself into existence, bringing forth the woman who had always lived inside her heart. Rising from the vanity, Holly stepped into the kitten heels. They altered her posture subtly, adding a gentle sway to her hips as she moved. She turned to face the full-length mirror on the back of her bedroom door, and for a moment, the world seemed to hold its breath. The woman who gazed back at her was a revelation. Gone was the awkward, ill-fitting persona she'd worn for so long. In its place stood someone radiant, confident, whole. Holly's lips curved into a smile, and she watched her reflection do the same. Hello, Holly, she whispered, her voice soft with wonder. She twirled, watching the skirt flare out around her legs. The motion felt natural, joyful. For the first time in her life, Holly felt truly comfortable in her own skin. A glance at the clock reminded her of the world beyond her bedroom. It was still early, the rest of the neighborhood likely just stirring to life on this Christmas morning. Families would be gathering around trees, exchanging gifts, sharing meals. For a moment, a pang of loneliness threatened to dim Holly's joy. But then she remembered the note, Miss Claus. Whoever she was, she had given Holly the greatest gift of all, the chance to be herself. Holly wasn't alone. Someone out there understood, accepted, and celebrated her. With newfound confidence, Holly made her way to the kitchen. The house was quiet, save for the gentle hum of the refrigerator and the ticking of the clock on the wall. She put on a pot of coffee, its rich aroma soon filling the air. As she waited for the coffee to brew, Holly found herself drawn to the window. The world outside was transformed, blanketed in pristine white snow that glittered in the morning sun. It seemed fitting. A new Holly, a new world. Cup of coffee in hand, Holly settled onto the couch in the living room. The Christmas tree in the corner twinkled with multicolored lights, casting a warm glow across the room. She curled her legs beneath her, careful not to wrinkle her skirt. For a while, she simply sat, sipping her coffee and basking in the feeling of rightness that permeated every fiber of her being. She thought about the journey ahead, the challenges she would face, the explanations she would need to give, the life she would build. It was daunting, yes, but also exhilarating. The quiet of the morning was broken by the sound of carolers in the distance, their voices carried on the crisp winter air, singing of joy and peace. Holly found herself humming along, her voice higher and softer than it had been before. As the morning wore on, Holly's thoughts turned to the future. She would need to tell people, to explain. There would be questions, confusion, perhaps even anger or rejection. But there would also be acceptance, understanding, and love. She held on to that hope, letting it fortify her against the challenges to come. She thought about work, about how she would approach her boss and coworkers. She imagined the conversations, practiced the words in her head. It wouldn't be easy, but it was necessary. Holly was done hiding, done pretending to be someone she wasn't. Around midday, Holly's phone chimed with a text message. It was from her best friend, wishing her a Merry Christmas and asking if she wanted to meet for coffee later in the week. Holly's finger hovered over the reply button. This could be her first step, her first revelation to the world. Taking a deep breath, Holly typed out a response. Merry Christmas to you too. Coffee sounds great. There's actually something important I'd like to talk to you about. How about Wednesday? The reply came almost immediately. Wednesday works. Can't wait to see you. Everything okay? Holly smiled, warmth blooming in her chest. Everything's perfect, she typed back. I just have some news to share. See you then. As she set her phone down, Holly felt a mix of nervousness and excitement. She was taking her first steps into a new life, a life of authenticity and truth. It wouldn't always be easy, but it would always be real. The rest of the day passed in a blur of small joys. Holly tried on different combinations of her new clothes, practiced her makeup, and even attempted to style her hair in a more feminine way. 
She danced to Christmas music, her movements freer and more graceful than they'd ever been before. As evening fell, Holly ordered her favorite takeout as a Christmas treat to herself. She set the table with care, using the good china that usually sat gathering dust in the cabinet. She lit candles, their warm glow adding to the festive atmosphere. Sitting down to her solitary meal, Holly raised a glass in a silent toast. To Miss Claus, whoever she might be. To the journey ahead. To truth, to authenticity, to becoming. But most of all, to herself. To Holly, who had always been there, waiting for this moment to step into the light. As she ate, Holly found herself making plans. She would need to update her wardrobe, find a voice coach, look into hormone therapy. There was so much to learn, so much to do. But for the first time, the future didn't feel like a burden. It felt like an adventure. After dinner, Holly curled up on the couch with a book she'd been meaning to read for ages. The story about a woman finding her place in the world resonated with her in a way it never had before. She lost herself in the pages, only stirring when she realized the room had grown dark around her. As she got ready for bed, Holly took extra care with her nighttime routine. She removed her makeup gently, applying moisturizer with soft, circular motions. She brushed out her hair, already imagining how she might grow and style it in the coming months. Slipping on a silky nightgown, another gift from the mysterious Miss Claus. Holly climbed into bed. The events of the day replayed in her mind, each memory a treasure to be cherished. She thought of the woman in the mirror, of the friend she would meet for coffee, of the life stretching out before her. As sleep began to claim her, Holly whispered a quiet thank you to the universe. For the gifts, for the opportunity, for the strength to become who she truly was. Tomorrow would bring new challenges, but also new joys. And Holly was ready to face them all as her true self. In the quiet of Christmas night, as snow fell gently outside her window, Holly drifted off to sleep. And for the first time in her life, her dreams were not of becoming someone else, but of being exactly who she was meant to be. The first rays of dawn crept through the curtains, casting a warm glow across Holly's sleeping form. She stirred, consciousness slowly returning as the memories of Christmas Day flooded back. A smile curved her lips before her eyes even opened, savoring the lingering joy of her transformation. As Holly sat up, stretching languidly, her gaze fell upon the neat pile of gifts on her dresser. The burgundy blouse, the floral skirt, the makeup tangible proof that yesterday hadn't been a dream. She ran her fingers over the silky nightgown she wore, marveling at how natural it felt against her skin. The house was quiet, the world outside muffled by a fresh layer of snow that had fallen overnight. Holly padded to the window, drawing back the curtains to reveal a winter wonderland. The neighborhood was transformed, each house and tree adorned with a pristine white blanket. It felt like a blank canvas, waiting for her to paint her new life upon it. In the bathroom, Holly took her time getting ready. She savored each moment, the warm water cascading over her body, the gentle scrape of the razor as she maintained her smooth skin, the delicate scent of her moisturizer. As she applied her makeup, she found her hand steadier than the day before, growing more confident with each stroke of the brush. Dressed in her new clothes, Holly made her way to the kitchen. The house felt different somehow, as if it too was shedding an old skin and embracing a new identity. She brewed a pot of coffee, its rich aroma filling the air and mingling with the lingering scent of pine from the Christmas tree. Cup in hand, Holly settled onto the couch, her skirt fanning out around her. She picked up her phone, hesitating for a moment before unlocking it. There were the usual Christmas messages from acquaintances and distant relatives, but her eyes were drawn to the conversation with her best friend. Wednesday's coffee date loomed large in her mind, a mix of anticipation and nerves swirling in her stomach. You can do this, Holly whispered to herself, her voice soft but determined. She began to type out a message, then deleted it, started again, 
deleted once more. Finally, she took a deep breath and let the words flow. Hey, about Wednesday, there's something important I need to tell you. I'm not the person you've known all these years. Or rather, I am, but I'm finally becoming who I've always been inside. I'm transgender. My name is Holly now. I know this might be a shock, and I understand if you need time to process. But I hope you can accept me for who I truly am. Her finger hovered over the send button for what felt like an eternity. With a surge of courage, Holly pressed send, then set her phone face down on the coffee table, her heart racing. To distract herself from waiting for a response, Holly busied herself with tidying up the remnants of Christmas. She carefully folded the wrapping paper from her gifts, unable to bring herself to throw away these tangible reminders of her magical transformation. As she worked, she found herself humming carols, her voice higher and softer than before. The ping of an incoming message made Holly freeze. She took a steadying breath before picking up her phone, stealing herself for whatever response awaited her. Oh, Holly, I'm so proud of you for telling me. This doesn't change how much I care about you. If anything, I'm honored you trust me with this. I can't wait to meet the real you on Wednesday. Is there anything I can do to support you? Tears welled up in Holly's eyes as she read the message, a wave of relief washing over her. She hadn't realized how tense she'd been until that moment, as if a weight she'd carried for years suddenly lifted from her shoulders. Wiping away her tears, careful not to smudge her mascara, Holly replied with shaky fingers. Thank you so much. Your support means the world to me. Just being there and listening is more than enough. A weight lifted. Holly felt a renewed sense of energy. She spent the rest of the morning researching. Support groups in her area, voice training techniques, local LGBTQ plus friendly businesses. Each new piece of information felt like a stepping stone on the path of her journey. As lunchtime approached, Holly decided to venture outside for the first time as her true self. She pulled on a warm coat over her outfit, slipped on her new shoes, and stood before the front door. Her hand trembled slightly as it rested on the doorknob. You can do this, she whispered again, her mantra of courage. The cold air nipped at her cheeks as Holly stepped onto her porch. She took a moment to breathe deeply, filling her lungs with the crisp winter air. It felt purifying, invigorating. With each step down the path, crunching through fresh snow, Holly felt her confidence grow. She walked through her neighborhood, nodding and smiling at the few people out and about. An elderly couple walking their dog wished her a belated Merry Christmas. A group of children engaged in an enthusiastic snowball fight paused to wave as she passed. No one looked at her strangely. No one questioned her presence. She was just another woman enjoying a winter stroll. Holly found herself at the local park, now a winter wonderland of pristine snow and icicle-adorned trees. She sat on a bench, brushing away the snow and simply observed the world around her. Families were out sledding, couples walked hand in hand, dogs frolicked in the snow. It was a scene she'd witnessed countless times before, yet now it felt new, as if she was truly part of it for the first time. As the sun began to dip lower in the sky, Holly made her way back home. The walk had done wonders for her spirit, reinforcing the feeling that she could do this, that she belonged in the world as her true self. Back in the warmth of her house, Holly decided to tackle another challenge, her voice. She'd read about techniques to feminize her speech and now seemed as good a time as any to start practicing. She stood before the mirror in her bedroom, watching her lips form the words as she experimented with pitch and resonance. Hello, I'm Holly, she said again and again, each repetition sounding more natural than the last. She practiced common phrases, focusing on the musicality of feminine speech patterns. It was frustrating at times, her voice cracking or falling back into old habits. But Holly persevered. This too was part of her journey. As evening fell, Holly prepared a simple dinner for herself. She set the table with care, lighting a candle and putting on soft music. It felt like a celebration, a continuation of the Christmas magic that had brought her to this point. 
Over her meal, Holly's thoughts turned to the future. There were still so many steps ahead, telling her family, her co-workers, beginning medical transition if she chose to do so. The path wouldn't always be easy, but for the first time, Holly felt equipped to face whatever challenges lay ahead. After dinner, Holly drew herself a bath, adding lavender-scented bubbles to the warm water. She sank into the tub, letting the soothing aroma and gentle heat relax her muscles and calm her mind. She thought about the day, about the small victories and moments of joy. Each one was a treasure, a building block in the foundation of her new life. Wrapped in a fluffy towel, Holly stood before the mirror, studying her reflection. She could see hints of the woman she would become, in the soft curve of her cheek, the expressive arch of her eyebrows, the gentle slope of her shoulders. But more than that, she saw the spark in her eyes, the quiet confidence that came from finally being true to oneself. As she got ready for bed, Holly's phone chimed with another message. It was from an unknown number, but the content made her heart skip a beat. Dearest Holly, I hope your Christmas was everything you dreamed it would be. Remember, the magic doesn't end with the holiday. It lives on in every step you take towards being your authentic self. The journey ahead may not always be easy, but know that you are loved, supported, and celebrated. Sweet dreams, my dear. With love, Miss Kloss. Holly read the message several times, a warm glow spreading through her chest. She still didn't know who Miss Claus was, but the message reinforced the feeling that she wasn't alone on this journey. Slipping under the covers, Holly picked up her journal from the bedside table. She began to write, pouring out her thoughts and feelings about the past two days. As she wrote, she felt a sense of peace settling over her. This was right. This was who she was meant to be. As sleep began to claim her, Holly's last thoughts were of the future. Tomorrow would bring new challenges, new experiences, new opportunities to be herself. But for now, in this moment, everything was perfect. Holly drifted off to sleep, a smile on her lips, ready to greet whatever the new day might bring. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out Patreon for a lot more content and early access to YouTube videos.